Hey mom, so step one and uh, make to do a little bit of iPad web surfing is to make sure that you're online. And to do that, once you've turned the computer on, or the little guy on, you should see right next to the word iPad, you should see that little symbol of, you know, I don't know what that looks like, but it looks like a kind of a shell. And that just symbolizes that you um, are online on Wi-Fi, because that's the only way it connects to the internet. Click the little settings here, and it should also show next to the Wi-Fi that uh, I've created a, um, a Wi-Fi connection for you to connect to, and that's the name of it right there, Josie's Mac Mini Share. And uh, it might ask you for a password. If it asks for you for a password, I will have sent it to you via other means. Um, and then you just put the password on, and it may think about it for a little bit. So it's showing me all the different, all the different, it says, choose a network, and it's looking at all the different networks that are around here. Um, so yours should be automatic, shouldn't be a problem, and then, um, then you're online, and then you could just go ahead and go to the browser, and uh, go from there and start doing a little web surfing. Hey mom, so one thing you're probably going to obviously want to do is do a little bit of web surfing, so let's go ahead and open up the iPad, it pops open, flip along the bottom, and we want the Safari icon there with the little uh, compass. We press it, and it's exactly like what you're used to on your Mac Mini over here. Uh, I click on it, and I pops the window, and I can go ahead and do a Google search. I click on, if I know where I'm wanting to go, then I'm clicking right there, and it's a lot of stuff in there, so I'm going to click the X. Now I've got a blank area there that I could type in. I'm going to do Yahoo. So, and, and it tries to guess what I'm doing here. So, let's see if you can see that. So, I typed in Yahoo. It wants Yahoo.com. So, click it, and up comes the website. So, it's pretty much, you know, the normal everyday kind of surfing that you're used to. Again, clicking over here in the Google bar. If I start typing in, uh, let's say... Okay, so I started typing in San Diego. Let's say San Diego Airport. So then it pops up the Google page for San Diego Airport. Some, now, some websites don't have San Diego Airport. It's, it's, some websites won't act really nicely because uh, the iPad does not do Flash. So it's a Flash site, a lot of animation and stuff like that, then it might not like it. So um, let's go back to Prescott Valley. And you might be familiar with this one. And you can just go ahead and surf it the way you would normally. You just got to remember, um, instead of, you know, there's no mouse to move around. All you need to do is point, and then it takes me to where I pointed to. And you can tell something's happening because it just moved across. And uh, let's say, oops. Oh, yeah, so the other thing, just like the other browsers, little back arrow will take me to where I was at before. All right, go back. And then um, up here, is, so got the forward and back arrow. I also have this little pile of papers. And what that is, is you can open up nine different windows. So I click it, and it shows me the different windows that were previously opened. So I can click this one. Okay, it's a library. Okay. And uh, if I want a new window, I go back there, click it, and then it says over here, new window, new page. And i got a brand new window that I can go ahead and do some searching. So surfing on the web, uh, other than using your finger instead of a mouse, is, is very much like what it would be um, for you normally on what you used to do on your little Mac Mini. Um, sometimes, let's go back to, let's go back to our Google site. Let's say you, um, so you did a Google search and you want to look, so you want to look at something but you don't want to lose the Google search. Well, a lot of times if you Put your finger on it, you hold it. So click it. See, I held it and it says open, open a new page, or copy. So I want to open a new page because then I can go back to that last uh, page that I had before. So I go back here and here are all the pages that I've had before. And here's that last one. Okay? So a lot of the surfing on the web stuff is very much like what you're used to from. Um, from using your Mac Mini. Again, if I click here, where it expects me to type, then the typewriter pops up. Typewriter gets in the way, click here, goodbye typewriter, 
and then I can surf some more just like I normally would. Okay? So that's kind of a really quick look at uh, basics. Oh, one more thing. Let's say that um, we want to bookmark a page. So we got a, we got a page here and we want to bookmark it. Well, then it, it's, that, it's that book right there. So, yeah, I don't know if you can see it. It's that book right there. If I click it, it gives me the options. What do I want to do? Okay. Or actually, that's the wrong one. I don't want to do that. So that's where my bookmarks are. Actually, what I want is the one next to it, the arrow, and then add bookmark, add to home screen, mail link to this page, or print. So you can choose what you want to do, uh, whichever suits you best. So I add bookmark. Then it tells me the name of it, and then where do I want to put it? Do I want to put it in bookmarks? Save. Boom. And so from now on, I click on bookmarks. Oh, there it is. Ta-da. Okay.